Professor Hines here. So I finally made it to the waterfall that I wanted to photograph here in Ricketts Glen State Park in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to go through and start setting up for my shot. What I have in my bag it, um, that I'm going to be using for this shot is the Sony Alpha 1. And then I'm utilizing the Zeiss Otis 1.4 28mm. So these are the best lenses that Zeiss produces. And we thought if I'm using the flagship camera from Sony, I might as well use the best glass that I could possibly get. And those are the Otis lenses. So these are manual lenses that are for the Canon and EF mount, as well as the Nikon F mount. But I'm utilizing a Sigma MC11 adapter. So I'm going to start setting up my tripod here. So this is a new tripod that I have. I have the brand new Saray ST125 tripod, which has been awesome. It's a waterproof tripod. Now what's different about it is that normally I don't like four section leg tripod, um, tripod legs. But this is just so much more compact than the other new one, which is the ST124. So I'm going to be utilizing this. It's a very sturdy tripod. You always want to have a good tripod when you're doing photos of any kind of landscape nature. Well, anytime your, your expensive equipment is on a tripod, you want to have a very sturdy tripod. I'm going to come down here because what I want is the rocks that are right here. I kind of want that. I always like having elements where you kind of see the rocks, you have the cascade of waterfalls, and then I, I'm kind of leading into the main waterfall. So that's what I really want to do here. We have the Otis here. I also am using a six stop circular polarizer and neutral density combination. So this was provided to me by Breakthrough Filters. So I certainly appreciate them for also um, helping out with this project and providing the filters for it for these Otis lenses. So I'm gonna set up the Sony Alpha 1. We're gonna put that here on my tripod. And so I'm gonna do two compositions. I, also, I want to get a landscape orientation as well as a vertical orientation. The reason I do that is just because of, of posting on different platforms. Sometimes I, I like to utilize the uh, vertical strictly for social media as opposed to utilizing the horizontal for if I decide to sell the image or use it for some kind of other design purpose. So I'm going to adjust my polarizer to eliminate some of those reflections. We're going to get our shot in focus. This is a manual lens, so you do have to set your, your focus yourself. But I love that for landscape. I always manually focus for my shots. Okay, everything looks perfect there. We're going to go to about F9 and go to ISO 100. And then I'm going to use a two-second timer. Since I still have enough light, I don't have to use my remote trigger yet. And so we're going to take that shot, make sure image stabilization is off on my camera, set the two second timer, take the shot, and then we wait. So right now it's a 25 second exposure. That's one thing you have to have when you're photographing these waterfalls is have patience. So what do I look for? So I know I want to catch this cascade here. That's here on the, the right side in the shot. The one thing that I hate is because of the angle, I can't see the waterfall at the top dropping into the pool of the second waterfall. That's the only thing that I hate about it because I can't get a high enough angle on that. Now I could get a different composition, but I just wouldn't like it as much just because there's nothing in the foreground to shoot. And look at that shot. That is beautiful. Wow. That's exactly what we want. So we're going to take another frame. Another 25 second shot. And I'm also at a negative exposure bias. I'm at negative 0.7 for this shot. And the reason for that is because the light is still a little high uh, just for this particular composition. So I don't have to bring in, I don't have to really worry about any of my highlights being blown. So I'm just going to focus on uh, getting the exposure as perfectly as I can and any little fine adjustments I have to do. We'll do that in post. But with these Otis lenses, why they're so great, you don't have to edit really. Like that, they're just super, super good. So we got a couple in the horizontal. I'm gonna switch now. So because this camera is so new, I don't have an L bracket yet. So I have to do the, the unfortunate thing of having my heavy, expensive camera on its side. Something I do not like to do for landscapes especially. So because the, the reason for that is because the, the center of gravity is now shifted. So it's very likely, likely for your tripod to tip over something that I, I don't care for. 
So I'm focused on the waterfall. I might focus more in the middle just to make sure everything is in focus just because of the distance. We'll also increase our aperture to f11. And now I'm at ISO 160. We'll go to f13 now, actually. We'll do f13, ISO 160. And still two seconds timer. Okay, so that took, and oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That is so beautiful. Okay, so while I was down here shooting, I happened to see another composition that I really, really like. So there's like this, this kind of pool here, and I'm catching a little bit of this cascade that's in front of me. So I'm just getting a really, really low shot, as low as I can get. And we're gonna situate ourselves a little bit further back. Because again, I have a 28 millimeter. So not as much, much wiggle room like I do with the Loxia 21. Oh, this is a nice composition. We're gonna get it level. We're gonna set our focus. That looks good. We're gonna go to F11, still 160 on our ISO. Two second timer. And then we take the shot. And so we're gonna see what that looks like. Oh, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. That's beautiful. What a beautiful image. We're gonna take one more. And then once I do that, I'm also gonna take some in the vertical orientation as well. Because I don't have a super wide lens with the 28, uh, taking the vertical, um, I actually will get a little bit more on the bottom as opposed to doing the landscape um, horizontal. I'm sorry, the, yeah, the horizontal. I actually got the orientation right. So I like to do both just because of, again, posting to different social mediums. So that finish, and that looks amazing. We're gonna come in, see if we got the focus on point. Oh, look at that Zeiss Otis detail. That's incredible. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.